Principal Financial denied my long-term disability. Do I need an attorney? Hi, I'm Kevin McManus. I'm a long-term disability attorney and I'm here to answer that question for you. Well, if Principal Financial sent you a denial letter saying your claim for long-term disability has been denied, um, the simple short answer is, yeah, you probably need an attorney. This is a complicated area of the law and it's a difficult situation for the average consumer to overcome. So, and, and there's a lot of reasons for that. This is not your front of the mill contract case. This is an insurance policy that's likely governed by federal law. And that federal law, if it's a group policy that you got through your employer is known as ERISA. ERISA is a law that was, uh, it, it's a federal law that largely benefits insurance companies and it tilts the balance of power to insurance companies in a lot of different ways. It has very specific rules and regulations and it's frankly extremely difficult for most attorneys to understand and navigate, much less the average consumer. So if you're dealing with a long-term disability denial and that denial letter says at the very end that this is governed by ERISA, the most important thing I want you to take away from this video is to pick up the phone and call us because that's a very specific uh, area of law that we and our firm are very adept at dealing with. And we can help, the way we can help first and foremost is to review your denial letter and provide you with a strategy on how to fight back. And we can do that for free. So if you pick up the phone, you can either call us, email us, uh, fax us, somehow just get us your denial letter, we'll review it. Principal Financial, uh, while they may grant certain long-term disability claims, they are always looking for ways to, of course, improve their bottom line. And that way to improve it is to ultimately deny them if they have a, any reason at all. Um, and so whether you were terminated on claim or you were denied outright, either way, send us that denial letter from Principal Financial and we'll take a look at it. Thanks.